YouTube family. Hello again. Uh, today I want to talk about um, cleaning your house like a professional. Yes, a professional. And um, I've been cleaning houses for about 16 years. So I've had many clients. I've had um, many problems with houses or um, things that clients have had a trouble with that they couldn't clean on their own. So in order to tackle the, those issues, I wanted to go ahead and share with you some of the tips and tricks that I do. That way it will make your job much easier. And I have my little list here. So if I'm looking down, that's when I'm looking at my list so that you don't miss a beat. Now, number one, number one is um, dusters. I found that the best dusters on the market are the lamb's wool dusters. And I tend to use those around the baseboards, on the trims of the doors, on top of the doors, um, the window sills, light fixtures, anywhere that you need to dust. And you just spray a little bit of the um, sledge or whatever you're using onto the duster and just swipe. You don't need a lot, just a little to attract the dust and that's it. You can actually find those dusters at Amazon for very inexpensive. So if you need a duster, or if you want to clean like a professional, invest in a lamb's wool duster. It will change your thinking totally. Number two, um, Fabuloso. Fabuloso comes in a variety of scents. It smells wonderful. Actually, my favorite to use is the apple scent. I have clients that like the lavender and clients that like the other one. I forget what the other one's called, but I tend to kind of go between the lavender and the apple. The apple smells wonderful. The scent lasts for a long time. You can actually dilute it and use it on floors, on counters, anywhere that you need to clean. And it actually works very well on walls as well. So, don't look by Fabuloso. It's actually a game changer when it comes to the scent of your house. Floors will be shiny, I promise you. Um, number three. Number three is stainless steel. Stainless steel can be a nightmare in some cases, especially if your clients or if you don't keep up with the stainless steel. The best thing that I do is to wipe down the refrigerator, the stove, or whatever stainless steel is in need. And once I clean it, <coughs> excuse me, once I clean it initially, then I go back with a dry microfiber and I dry that off. Then I go with Citral Shine. Citral Shine, if you watch my other videos, I've showed you this several times. Citral Shine is a life saver for stainless steel. All you do is spray and wipe and it leaves your appliance shiny and clean and you can actually see your reflection in the stainless steel. It's a wonderful product. I've actually found it at Sears. If you don't have a Sears, you can find it at Home Depot or Amazon. It's typically about $6 a bottle, but it does last you a very long time. Um, and I swear by Citrus uh, Shine, excuse me. I swear by Citrus Shine. It's a wonderful product and I won't have um, a client with stainless steel without it. 
there's no way it's just too much of a headache so yes citrus shine go grab your bottle you will you'll thank me number four anytime you're using a spray in the kitchen or in the bathroom you want to let the spray do all of the work so you spray the the fixture or the tub or sink or whatever or counters and you let that sit for at least five to ten minutes because you want the you want the spray to do all the work you want it to lift you want it to um, remove the grime so let that sit for about five or ten minutes and then wipe let the spray do the work not you Number five, whenever you have all of your cleaning supplies, have those handy at all times. And I recommend getting a, um, a tool caddy. That's what I use, is a tool caddy. It's similar to the smaller um, household caddies, but it's a little bit bigger and it's more durable. So yes, put your cleaning products in a caddy. It'll make it easier to transfer from room to room, and you won't go back and forth looking for a certain item. You'll have everything with you all together, all at once. So it saves a lot of time. Number six, I use Barkeeper's Friend. Um, I know there's Ajax and also the other scrub um, powder but I like Barkeeper's Friend the best for one it shines really well it doesn't have any bleach added to it but it it gives an enormous shine the next time you're trying to shine up your sink or uh, remove something from a bathroom sink or even you can put it in your toilets and swish it around but Barkeeper's Friend is very good. It's much better than Ajax, if you if you ask my opinion. Um, number seven, microfiber cloths. Microfiber cloths are the magic in your cleaning caddy. They are wonderful. They will absorb, they will uh, clean, buff, shine. Um, they won't scratch your surface. Um, microfiber is a game changer. And since it came out with microfiber cloths, it's actually made, made cleaning. Since they came out with microfiber cloths, they've actually uh, changed. Since they came out with microfiber cloths, it's actually a game changer because it's made cleaning so much easier. So I tend to get my microfiber cloths from the auto section in Walmart. You can actually get a 10 pack, 30 pack, or however many for very inexpensive. And they're very, very good quality. So that's where I get mine. Number eight, if you have dirty grout or if you have um, dirty grout in your bathroom or tiles, um, what I like to do, and it's not as messy as like squirting lime away or the other bathroom cleaner like I've seen online, it's not messy like that. And I really don't want to deal with a whole lot of mess. So what I do is I use crud cutters and I just spray the, the surface and I use a tool, um, a tile brush to get in between there. And it's actually very easy, very fast, and it, it takes out the, the dirt from the grout very well. Um, on the floors, what I do is I spray the floors with crud cutters and 
um, actually use a microfiber mop and get in between those cracks very well. Now, if you have a really bad area that's really dark and you need to do that, you can use the grout brush as well, and that will lift that. But crud cutters is very, very good for those instances when you need to clean your grout. And a very expensive option, a, and a very inexpensive alternative to crud cutters is um, Bang. It's in a purple bottle, and you can actually get it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. It's actually very well. Now, you do have the chemical smell, so you might want to take that in consideration. But Bang is a very good alternative to crud cutters. So if you're if you're in the market to clean your grout and you're not able to spend a whole lot of money because credit cutters is usually about 15 or $16. Um, I usually buy the gallon bottle. But um, if, you're, if you're not wanting to spend that much, I would go ahead and get the bang and use that as an alternative to credit cutters. It works just as well. Number nine, um, you've got a stain on the floor and nothing's picking it up. Well, again, hit up the Dollar Tree because the Dollar Tree actually has the best carpet stain remover on the market. I don't care what anybody says, it is the best. It's worked far better than Resolve or any other expensive carpet cleaner that I have found. So um, if you have a stain, do a little test area and um, use the Dollar Tree's awesome stain remover for carpets. And trust me, it works wonders. <coughs> Number 10, cleaning walls. Now, sometimes we'll get little stuffs and um, the walls will be dusty or dirty or you'll have a little fingerprints if you've got kids. Now, cleaning walls can be very easy. All you have to do is put a microfiber cloth on a Swiffer mop. Make sure it's a damp microfiber cloth and you can use Fabuloso or whatever cleaner you'd like to use. Um, I tend to use Fabuloso more. Um, I've also used vinegar and water, but make sure that the rag, the microfiber uh, rag is wet, um, not wet, wet, but damp, and apply that to your Swiffer mop and just glide in an up and down motion on your wall. Easy peasy. You can cover a large area in no time at all cleaning that way. You no longer have to use just a, a microfiber cloth or a rag to clean your walls and it takes hours and hours. No, not at all. I don't have that much time. So that's what I do. I put a microfiber cloth on a Swiffer mop and I will go in an up and down motion from uh, the ceiling to the baseboard, and I will clean the walls that way. It works wonders. It really does. It works wonders. <clears throat> now, number 11, and I've had many clients have this trouble. Um, it's where you have that nasty ring around your bathtub that won't seem to go away at all. I don't know, I don't 
care how many cleaners you use, that darn ring will not go away. Well, here's the solution. <clears throat> what you want to do is, um, you're going to think I'm kind of crazy, but just listen. And if you're in the need, try it. You'll be surprised. The toilet cleaner. Uh, or lime away that comes in the squirt bottle squirt that around the ring of the entire tub now if the base of the tub is is dirty and has stains as well you can do the same to that you take a green scrubby and make sure you have gloves make sure you're wearing gloves doing this because this is a, a strong chemical and it can burn your skin but um, do the squirt bottle all around or where the stain is in the bathtub and let that sit for about five minutes. That's all you need is five minutes. Take the scrubby, go around it again without the solution and watch the ring disappear or watch the stain on the bottom disappear. And then what you do is you just make sure to rinse, rinse the tub very, very well. You'll have to go over it a few times and you'll see the shiny finish coming through. But yeah, make sure you rinse that very well. And don't try this without the, without the gloves. This is a strong chemical and you don't want to burn your hands. <clears throat> Finally, number 12, and you've heard me, if you watch any of my cleaning videos, you've seen several times that I cannot say enough about a pumice stone. These miracle stones are wonderful. Um, <clears throat> you can buy them at your grocery store. They're usually called a pummy stick. Um, or I tend to buy mine online. Amazon has a wonderful um, variety of pumice stones and I usually buy them in bulk. I usually buy uh, 10 to 20 at a time. And they last for quite a while if you're using it for certain things. I actually have one in the bathroom. I have one in the kitchen. And um, I also have one in my cleaning caddy. But you don't want to interchange them. You want to keep them separate. So if you have one specially for the bathroom, for the toilet, for you know how the toilet, you can get a lot of lime scale around where the water comes out around the rim. These will remove that with no problem at all. The key is to keep it wet. Make sure your pumice stone is wet and it will remove lime scale like nobody's business. Um, I also use this in my oven. You can actually use this in your oven and I have a video and I will link it up above. Um, but you can use this in your oven, like I said, just keeping it wet and it will remove all the crud grime. It'll actually even clean the glass on your stove with no problem at all. And no chemicals, no smell. You don't have to use oven cleaner at all. These little handy um, magic sticks will do all of the work for you. You'll be amazed. I also use these on glass top stoves. And you know how you always get that burnt on ring around the burners. Like I said, you just keep this wet. You can spray the top of the stove with whatever cleaner that you like using. And then come around the burnt on grime around your burners uh, with the pumice stone. And you can actually make that glass top stove look absolutely 
brand new. Seriously, it will remove all of the grime. And um, you won't have to use a dangerous razor or anything like that. This stone will do all the work for you. And <clears throat> I actually, I can't say enough about these stones. They're just wonderful. I also buy magic erasers in bulk. I usually buy them by the 200 and again I usually do do that by Amazon usually I can get 200 magic erasers for less than $20 so that's a really good deal considering you can get two at the dollar store for a dollar or at the grocery store I think they're like three three or four dollars for a pack that that's just too much um, as many as I go through um, and I use these in bathtubs and sinks and so forth to, to help, um, or around fixtures. You know how you get the little grime around your, uh, faucet, um, knobs and, and fixtures. I just take the edges around there and get as deep as I can around those fixtures to clean it very well. You can also use a toothbrush. That that works well as well, but I don't really carry a toothbrush with me in my in my cleaning caddy. That's just not something I do. <clears throat> now, another thing I want to talk about is um, what you use in your dishwasher. I actually I tried this for the first time because I've seen so many things about it online and I you know, there, there were so many people saying such good things about it and everything else. I found it's not worth the money. It's not. It's just not. It um, leaves a residue. At least for me it does. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But um, for me it leaves a residue and I really don't like it at all. So I'm going to go back to my tried and true Dollar Tree dishwasher tabs. They're the best I found. Other than Cascade, they're the best I found. And if you don't want to spend the money on Cascade, try the dishwasher tabs at Dollar Tree. They work just as well. Well, <clears throat> that's all I have for you today. And I hope that these tips and tricks have helped you make your cleaning less stressful and more productive. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. It helps my channel so much. And make sure to hit that like button for the algorithm. I appreciate you and thank you so much. If there's anything that you'd like to see, um, please leave that down in the comments below. I love to hear your comments and your suggestions for any type of videos. Have a wonderful day.